fallout from the Greenbelt scandal here at Queen's Park continues. As investigations are mounting, the leader of the Green Party is now calling for a full independent public inquiry into how the Ford government handled the 30 square kilometers of land removals. We cannot simply stand by and allow accountability and public trust to be further eroded. The Green Party's Mike Schreiner says the resignation of the housing minister's chief of staff, Ryan Amato, who was singled out in the Auditor General's scathing report for favoring developers is the bare minimum of accountability. The party leader is now putting pressure on the premier to bring what really happened into broad daylight. So the public can see the evidence themselves. So they can hear the testimony directly from those involved. Does this meet the threshold for a public inquiry? Well, what, what makes you think that, that a public inquiry is warranted? I think when you have an $8.3 billion scandal, that meets the threshold. A public inquiry is usually ordered by a municipal, provincial, or federal government and is typically in response to matters of significant public concern. One of the biggest public inquiries in Ontario was for the Walkerton contaminated water crisis about 20 years ago that saw 2,300 people fall ill and seven die. The most recent high profile inquiry involves the federal government's use of the Emergencies Act during the Freedom Convoy protests in Ottawa. Liberal interim leader John Frazier tells City News he welcomes anything that would shine more light on the $8.3 billion scandal and official opposition leader Marit Stiles also welcomes an investigation. I think this goes right to the top. The rot is right at the top. The explosive report that came out two weeks ago found 92% of the lands removed from the Greenbelt were a direct result of the developer's suggestions to Ryan Amato. The Premier continues to deny any developers were favored and has publicly stood by Housing Minister Steve Clark and is now former Chief of Staff. We could have had a better process. As Premier, the buck stops with me. Meanwhile, investigations into the Greenbelt land swap are mounting while the RCMP is deciding whether to launch a criminal probe. Ontario's integrity commissioner is in the middle of investigating Clark and is considering investigations into a motto and the premier to see if any ethics rules were broken. The Auditor General's report answered some questions, but it actually raised even more questions. Now, for an inquiry to happen, the Ford government would essentially have to call it. We asked the Premier's office if that's even a consideration. They said no, that's not surprising. But a legal expert does tell me that sometimes if there is enough outrage and enough public pressure, governments have no choice but to show they're being as transparent as possible. At Queen's Park, Shauna Hunt, City News.